it's telling me there's five modules out there. So all we've got here is it's just a simple script that we're going to run. Actually, you know what we're going to do first is there's, um, see right out there by the concrete blocks, there's um, a single module. There is three queues hooked up. There's Q1, Q2, and Q3. The first queue is going to go off in 10 seconds. The second queue is going to go off in 15 seconds. The third queue is going to go off in 20 seconds. I'm going to pause the script. You guys won't be able to see any of it, but you just kind of have to like, trust I'm doing it. And then so you'll kind of see some of the basic scripting functions of the system. I've just armed it. It's giving me the number five. Uh, those are these five, but Ted, I think now actually has to go out and arm the other ones. So. You said you have one up there too? I have one. We have one way down out there, and we're going to get some exercise. Number five. Okay. Uh, this is counting down. So it's saying six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire that. I'm now going to pause it. Okay? So I just pause the script. There's three and a half seconds. So if there was a problem, if I wanted to stop something, but I didn't want to stop my script, I paused it. It says P A U on there. If I want to start it up again, I just press my button again. I'm counting down. And there goes my final script. Okay? My remote is telling me that was channel that was channel 10. You'll see that the first two numbers are red. That means they've been fired. The third number is blinking. That means that's the last cue that was fired is number three. Okay. For left three, okay? to right. Back to the left. Back to the right. From the center. That's going to pause for a second. It's going to start at the center. It's going to go out. It's going to come back in, and then it's going to shoot off a little front with a couple comments and some jerks. So. This could look really like stupid, <laughs> or it's gonna look maybe cool. So I have no idea. So uh, anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fire this. Here we go. Oops, that was the wrong script. So that was our little script. Like one of the volunteers. Sure. Yeah. Very good. Very good. So I'm Okay. So where it is is you see the um. It's the magazine that's as far as you can see. It's not the second red one. It's, it's the it's two past the second red one. It's like, Blue, way out there, and it's actually behind that one about 60 feet. So it's pushing right up against the back of that like hill. Okay. <laughs> the distance is, I think, uh, I think it was like 18 or 1800 feet. You're getting waved at down there. Oh, does that mean he's ready to? I'm not sure. It says don't fire or we're fine. They're off. They're all the way off the left. Okay. Good. good. So, uh, I think it's on channel 11. So, here, this is your section 1 of this back. So, go up to channel 11. And you see that one? See those two are green? Okay. Now you're in test mode. And now we're, we're going to wait for this to blink because it's going to. Okay. And it should be able to go solid here in a second. Hit the sync button. See you have a minus 75? That's a see that number, minus 71? That's your signal quality. So that's your number between 0 and minus 75. Okay? It's really important to mention that the number like drops off, it goes really high quick and then it flattens out. So you could go like 800 feet and you would only move by like two or three numbers. Okay, so now all you do is you arm your unit, so you press the arm button, and you're gonna wait. See that blinking? That's the module picking up the arming. So there you go. That's
that's like, it's about 1,800, 1,900 feet. We had a signal quality of about minus 72 that we just picked up, so we're within range. We knew we could fire. That's, just so you know, that's behind the last blue bunker, about 70 feet behind it. So you've got all those magazines that are in the way um, of, of this thing. So just to give you guys a sense of the range.